Oh, the new definition of beauty, Ben Shabibo. There is a, a new swimsuit 2022 cover model. So the, the, every year. All I'm going to say is this. Before we even get into this, all I'm going to say is this, okay? You cannot have a say on this conversation. Like, you are on this planet specifically by your own definition to reproduce, okay? You only see women as baby incubators, and you only see sex as, as a means of putting out, you know, little, little tiny Ben Shapiro's on the planet. Okay, see yourself out of the conversation that normal human beings have where we talk about, uh, you know, whether we find someone attractive or not. Now, Sports Illustrated has its SI Swimsuit Edition, and they usually have multiple cover models. And one is sort of the woke cover model. So they'll have like a couple of actual models, and then they'll have like a transgender woman, like a biological male who has had a boob job and a bunch of surgeries and looks a lot like a female. That's what they did last year. This year. Yeah. Gender affirming surgery and also like Photoshop procedures famously don't exist outside of trans women specifically, especially in modeling. He's so transphobic that he's just basically just like forgetting that it's a, you know, incredibly important part of like presentation in this uh, in this sector. They decided that they were going to put a rather large woman on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Her name is Yumi Nu, so she is a plus-sized model. And by plus-sized model, we mean that she is somewhat heavy. And she's not, like, morbidly obese, but she Yo! is also not skinny or in shape. Wait, 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 I mean, wait, wait, is this progress? Wait, hold up. Dude, I feel like six years ago, Ben Shapiro would never say that. Wait, that's actually crazy. I'm actually surprised. Like, he had to concede that she's not, like, morbidly obese or whatever the fuck. Like, because that's, I feel like that's where it was, like, you know, 2015. Like, the people should be like, oh, you're not a size zero. You're fucking, you're a pig. Or you're so fat. His wife got to be a shape close to her. Dude, I think a lot of wife guys, uh, I think a lot of wife guys are like, yeah, uh, we can't do that. Like, we can't shit on her too much. That's like a, a lot of people in like JP's fan base were like, come on, my girlfriend looks like that. Jordan, what the fuck? I mean, this, this, is, this is a person who should for health reasons, drop some weight. And th that's just the reality of the situation because being overweight exacerbates nearly every health problem you have. Unclear what her BMI is. So I would I would hesitate to estimate her BMI here. But suffice- Bro, how the fuck are you going to have a, a doctor wife and then still talk about BMI, bro? Come on. It's literally the most fucking outdated system of like figuring out whether someone is in shape or healthy or not. Like it, it is just so bad. Like if you have, so what's up? If you have fucking lean muscle mass, you can literally hit obesity in the BMI uh, scale while still literally being like 12%, 13% body fat. Anyway, let's continue. To say that this is a person who could drop at least 20 pounds. And that, that's not an insult. That's just a reality. Okay, if you- Freshman health class Andy? What do you mean freshman health class Andy? I, I never even took like a fucking health class or anything like that. The only reason why I know about it is because like I've never not been obese on the BMI while I had a fucking six pack, dude. Or well, I wasn't obese, but like I was severely overweight, borderline obese on the BMI when I had a six pack. If you had a relative who looked like this, you would think that, that person probably needed to drop a little bit of weight and presume there's a young, healthy 25 year old woman. There is no reason why she couldn't drop a little bit of weight if she wanted to. But the idea here is to redefine beauty, of course. Wait, what? And this is what the left is all about this day, is what Sports Illustrated is doing. <laughs> and the idea here is that if you mention this, if you notice it, it's bad. So this is the stupid game that the left loves to play. Stupid, stupid game. What they do is they do something that is deliberately shocking and provocative. Then when you comment on it, they say, how dare you even notice? How dare you even notice? So the goal here is to- The point is, it shouldn't be provocative. Like, have you looked outside? You live in fucking Florida, idiot. Like, skinnier than 90% of the women at Walmart. And you're over here being like, aha, it's so provocative. It's like, dude, how about, you know, having some normal people? Don't you, don't you feel like that in and of itself is, is the weird situation that like not a single person looks like the, uh, the cover model or, or, uh, looks like the marketing in America? Like, obviously, there are systemic problems. Obviously, obesity is a problem. Obesity is a problem, okay? Health complications do arise. But ultimately, ultimately, it is so fucking stupid to just, like, be upset when you see a normal person every now and then. Like, she's a pretty person. She's normal. She's, like, not a size zero, okay? It's very weird to just, like, lose your fucking mind over it, okay? You are unironically triggered because you saw a person that is... is you know, not a size zero on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And the people are clowning on you because you're being weird. It's just odd that he's like freaking the fuck out. Change the standards of beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder, you see. It's completely subjective. By the way, they clearly covered her stomach, so let's not clap too hard for SI. Okay, severed butt. They're still gonna do fucking Photoshop, okay?
It is not that there are many, many studies demonstrating that facial symmetry is a general indicator of beauty in virtually all cultures, or that there's a hip to waist ratio that is widely admired across cultures, or that there is even such a thing as sexual attraction. You can't be serious, right? Like her facial symmetry is part of the reason why she's a plus size model. Like she's very pretty. She's her beauty is not an objective thing, obviously, but like it's as close to objective as you can get when, when you talk about like facial symmetry or whatever the fuck, right? Obviously it's still impossible to pinpoint. Um, and it's certainly not across cultures. This is just a lie. But, and especially the hip to ratio thing is a total fucking lie. Um, when he says like across culture, the facial symmetry is part of the reason why she is a, a, a model. Um, like she is conventionally a very attractive person. And this more generally, which provides a very weird sort of thing for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, because if there's no such thing as sexual attraction generally, then why have a swimsuit edition? But the notion is, of course, that we should pretend that human biological attractiveness does not exist or that it is all culturally defined. That if you don't find... Like, you literally don't need to fucking try to intellectualize why you didn't find this particular uh, cover model attractive. Like, you don't have to try and do that. And he's, like, so self-assured. Like, he's just like, yeah, actually, um, hypothetically speaking, like, beauty uh, standards exist in the world. And, um, and, uh... Unfortunately, I couldn't, I couldn't fap to this one. Um, I did not like this Sports Illustrated. I am going to unsubscribe. You me knew as sexy as Brooklyn Decker, then that is because you are fat phobic in some way. Like no one is even saying that. People aren't even saying that. No, people are just making fun of you because you're like bent out of shape that you couldn't jerk off to the swimsuit edition. Like what is going on, dude? <laughs> Why are they like this? It's so funny. I love these issues because like, in my opinion, I think this kind of, like, showcases how fucking weird they are. Like, conservatives are, like, sexless, pathetic nerds they are that, like, they just basically self-report over and over again. And obviously, there's plenty of people who are also pathetic, sexless nerds like they are that are in their fan base. But, like, it's just, like, pretty funny. To the Normans, they probably look at this and go, what the fuck? Like, I have a cousin that looks like that, and you're being fucking rude for no reason. I have a mom that looks like that. You're being rude for no fucking reason. My wife looks like that. My girlfriend looks like that. Why are you fucking saying these things? Like, I find my girlfriend very attractive. Why are you just, like, randomly shitting on my girlfriend? Is how most Americans are going to fucking uh, look at this and, and feel. Why well, you are a bigot in some way. And that's the, that's the reason they do this. There's the, why else would they do it? I mean, I'm just guaranteeing you that if a dude has a choice between buying two magazines, one with Yumi New on the cover and one with Brooklyn Decker on the cover, that's not a question as to which magazine sells faster. Everyone knows this. The entire advertising industry is built on this. All of Hollywood is built on this. Why do you think Hollywood casts astonishingly good-looking people? Why is he speaking to an audience of 85-year-olds, bro? When are you buying a magazine at the fucking magazine stand, dude? <laughs> He's wrong because, like, at least the Yumi New thing is, like, new and different. And part of the reason why they do it, of course, Illustrated does it, and Ben is right about this, is because it actually drives the narrative. People like this idiot get mad and lose their shit. And then people go and actually fucking click on the website. So Ben is unironically playing into the fucking Sports Illustrated game. What's also hilarious about sort of the way that the, the beauty media work here is, is I have to compare and contrast here. So you have Yumi Nu, who is overweight, on the cover of the SI Swim. And if you mention this, it's bad. The, the entire purpose for putting this person on the cover is because she is overweight. But if you mention she's overweight, this means that you're, you're bad. You're not supposed to notice. Stop. You're banned? You're bad? Like, no, no, dude. It's about, like, being a fucking dickhead, I think. This is the thing that's really weird about debate perverts is that, like, they have to moralize and intellectualize, like, every kind of fucking conversation. And it goes against, like, how human beings operate. So in a weird way, they come across, like, super irrational to the average person. No, it's just like, you're you're a dick. Like, why would you fucking run around and like literally point to every person who you think is like a little bit more overweight than what your perfect body type is like? And be like, you're fat. You should not actually be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. You're fat. Hypothetically speaking, I don't like that you're fat and I can't jerk off to you. I do not want thick mommies. Stop showing me BBW porn, Pornhub. Like, you're just a fucking rude dickhead. That's, that's it. That's literally it. That's why people are clowning on you because you're a rude fucking dickhead. I'm noticing. Okay, so they'll put Yumi New on this cover. Then you'll also have Hillary Duff, who is on a the cover of Women's Health. Now, Hillary Duff looks like a sort of stereotypical model beauty. Okay, she's on the cover of Women's Health magazine, totally nude. 
and she looks like a model. Right? I mean, there's not an I mean, it's like it's it's censored ounce of fat on her. She looks like what you would imagine an airbrushed beautiful person to look. Is Ben now just showing like what he can jerk off to and what he has jerked off to? It, isn't that kind of strange? And Women's Health Magazine said Hillary Duff spent years trying to live up to Hollywood's standards. Now, as she poses for the May cover of Women's Health Body Reflections, she's approaching her life and career on her own terms. She says, I'm proud of my body. I'm proud it's produced three children for me. I've gotten to a place of being peaceful with the changes. This is such a weird thing, dude. Like, that's a good photo shoot that I appreciate. It's good. It's only catering to my expectations. That's what magazines should do. I don't want any other kind of beauty standard. If you like thick women, I do not want your interests represented in Sports Illustrated. Which is my body has gone through. The pictures of her are immaculate. And honest to God, these, these pictures are like... That immaculate. He is so horned up. Bro! Yo, this is fucking... I just want to spat my fucking Diet Mountain Dew out, dude. What the fuck? Yo, he's down bad. First of all, you used to have to actually buy a Playboy in order to get these sorts of pictures. Now it's just on the... <laughs> dude, I love... This is the greatest Ben Shapiro video I've ever watched. Beyond that, on the one hand, the idea is that Hillary Duff is violating traditional standards of beauty. Not true. On the other hand, the idea is that Yumi Nu is not violating traditional standards of beauty. Also not true. And the, the only reason that you can come up with... In your endless, in your horny fervor, perhaps maybe you could have realized that like, no, both of those women are actually uh, living their own uh, beauty standards out. And it's about demonstrating confidence in your body. And that's kind of the point. Uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe that's like actually not inconsistent. Neither of those things are inconsistent. And also the Hillary Duff photos, um, because I've seen a nipple before in my life and didn't immediately have a, a fucking mind numbing erection and get so fucking hard that all the blood got sucked out of my brain like Ben's did. I immediately noticed that those photos are actually unaltered in the same way that most Hillary Duff photos would probably be in any other magazine. If you weren't so fucking horny, you would probably recognize that the 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 lack of like severe makeup and foundation, even though there was makeup, obviously, and also the the lack of alteration in the form of Photoshop is what makes those photos unique. And the the only reason that you can come up with is they would like to actually destroy the definition of beauty, as they've destroyed the definition of everything else. In the same way that the left pretends that all art is equivalent, and that. Piss Christ is a piece of art the same way that the Mona Lisa is a piece of art because art has no definition and it's all subjective interpretation. Does Ben think art is objective? What the fuck? Isn't he like literally a classically trained violinist? This with things like beauty. So in a normal definition of beauty, Hillary Duff is a beautiful person and Yumi Nu is not nearly as beautiful as Hillary Duff in any sort of normal objective metric of, of beauty as done by a computer, for example. What? But if you notice this, this is because you're Bro! banned it. So this is why Jordan What is a Pe normal objective beauty standard done by a computer? You're literally reporting. What the fuck are you talking about? That's not a human. What do you mean done by a computer, you fucking nerd? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Yeah, why does anyone look at that and go, yeah, that's brilliant. He said, my man said, you know, computer, computerized beauty. Peterson was trending. Okay, it's because he, he tweeted out, sorry, not beautiful. And no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. People got very angry. How dare you say that, sir? How, the whole point of putting her on the cover is because you're trying to redefine beauty. That's literally what you're trying to do. And he's saying, I'm not going to let you redefine beauty. He's saying that his authoritarian uh, beauty standard is what should continue to be the beauty standard. If you want to think about it as like authoritarian at all. What I have been duped into believing is like the perfect fucking beauty standard should continue. Even a computer would be able to figure that out. Beauty to include people who are not traditionally beautiful. You want to say that she is unique looking? You want to say that she is beautiful to certain people, that certain people find this attractive? That's fine. But if you want to say that this is like beautiful the same way that kind of traditional swimsuit models are beautiful, no, again, the, but, but the game the left loves to play, it's just gaslighting all the way down. A man is a woman. They're like, no, that's not true. How dare you say that, sir? How dare you do that? That's bigotry. Beauty is defined as anybody up to and including Lizzo. And you're like, no, I, I don't think so. They're like, no, no, no. How dare you say that, sir? We're not doing it. You, you must be a bigot. It's all so tiresome and childish and annoying.